play for play what was going to happen in the next five or so phases. We all believed it. Three or four phases later, um, Bodie's under the sticks. Quick hands, Reed in space. Plenty of good, good as those memories, but um, also just need to take it for granted. Uh, Yeah, we draw upon our, I guess, our history and at times when uh, the Bledisloe Cup was over here and this group certainly doesn't want to go through that and we want to do everything tomorrow afternoon to uh, get one hand on the trophy. Hands, 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 it's not a World Cup, it's a Bledis Low Cup. It's a massive weekend of sport in Sydney. Desperate times these are for Australian rugby. The All Blacks equally needing to get back into winning form and extend their 21-year grip on the coveted trophy. to two, leading Australia in Bledisloe one by 28 to 14. Now Pasami has a go and the Wallabies are back in it. Now Payne on Morsa storming down to it, gets the ball away to Fraser McRoy. He's got McDermott with him, McDermott. Oh, good tackle made by TJ Perinara. Oh, we could be in for a sensational finish here. Here's the chance now for the Wallabies. Tom Brown is in. All Blacks again, another horror last quarter. Yeah. Tackle missed, though, on Hunter Paisami. They've got the ball. No, they haven't. It's a turnover. And it goes from Perinara. Adi Salvia bangs it into touch, and the All Blacks have retained the Bledders Low Cup. Nice, boys. Three. 
Weeks, still in the huddle, a win's a win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, obviously, like, we know as good as anyone, you know, that wins are hard to come by these days, and that's why they're called the test matches. And look, we were so proud of that first half, and we knew that Aussie would, would never go away, and they showed that in that second half, and you know, our build hill spin almost cost us a test. Almost, but it didn't, so look, we're, we're happy we, we take this win, um, get back home to our friends and family, and get back to Wellies, and uh, let's keep it on. Keep it on. Part of history, first time winning it. It's crazy. God is good, man. The first 15 minutes last night, superb. This inability of the All Blacks, though, to score points after the 55 minute mark is just utterly puzzling. Jason, have you got a, an update on Geordie at all? Yeah, he's uh, he's having scans, but um, I don't know if you've seen him walking around, but he's got a brace and he won't train this week, so um, probably answers that question. Coffee duties. So I had some coffees, so... Coffee, one, three handed. Four. Yeah, he, must be, he must be a mind reader, Geordie. Well, that's good, Smitty. I've just got something right today. <laughs> It's obviously the last 48 hours and uh, the process you've gone through and some of the results. Yeah, in the weekend, copped a left knee injury, uh, got landed on uh, MCL damage, so it's a grade two plus and thankfully only MCL uh, four to six weeks. So yeah, it's just all, all, all part of the journey and uh, yeah, target to be back ideally for Japan, if not first first week of uh, Northern Tour if I'm available for selection. So, um, yeah, a bit of a bummer, but um, yeah, still grateful. Well, the 40 years, still going there. And what are we doing right now? There's a time of the week where we grab our loose forwards and just nail down some attack and defense detail. Uh, Bodie's leading the boys through it and um, yeah, just solidifying our plan, getting a few reps in early. Bit tough today with this win, but it's good. We might get it on Saturday. But great day to test our skill sets. We've asked for a better advance going at them with our bees. Start building that mindset around winning races. Power of position. Keep building. Right, one quick one. Um, do you know how the boys go live on other people's phones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. welcome to the All Blacks gym, boys. Yo, we just, we just do a couple power sets. Just the money, just keeping the body fresh. Uh, yeah, he's good to us, Ben. Yeah, a couple of the lads here, got Joe Bauer, one of the all-time greats. Is that like a general prank that you guys do on each other? Is that something that Alby does and he's got a bit of a taste of his own medicine? Yeah, I think he summed it up um, pretty perfectly there. It's only just come in, in the past couple of weeks. People leave their phones down with their gym program open in the gym. Um, other people take advantage, but... I think Anton started it and probably finished now that we've got him back, so it's a bit of a laugh. Shut <laughs> up. Thank you very much, Tim Horan, for joining us on the program. Two time World Cup winning Wallaby. Enjoy yourself. Wishing you all the best, but not too much, because it's about time the All Blacks actually won in the capital, yeah? <laughs> Hopefully, the world will be I guess it's a bit of a deep question, but what is your why? A number of different reasons for um, why I do what I do, but I think first and foremost it's to um, provide for my family, my partner, mum, dad, everyone. So, um, you know, Aki and I do what we do to be able to give back to mum, dad, and it's a big part of the reason that gets me out of bed every morning. Else. 
sort of when I was a, a younger leader, that's just to speak, just to speak, and you know, wouldn't wouldn't speak to to listen to anyone else. I just sort of just fill rooms if they were silent. I think now it's just picking and choosing my times and know the power of saying too little, saying too much, um, and how that can be sort of taken on board by the boys. So I can choose my times and with the, you know, we have such great leaders in this team and that goes from the captain all the way down to, you know, even some of the young boys coming in and sort of um, stamp their mark in that leadership space, so. You know me, how are you gorgeous? Rex has, um, you know, been stepping up and you see him talking in huddles and uh, meetings. Uh, same with Jordy's, you know, takes lead in our, in our defensive, I guess, side of our game. Um, so, yeah, all of them have a, you know, big presence in the way, I guess, this team runs and the way that they're, I guess, looked at to, to lead this team. Scott, how have preparations been for uh, tomorrow night? Yeah, no, uh, we've had a great week. Uh, a few milestones, I guess, uh, last games for a few guys um, who this has been their home ground for a long time. So uh, we've sort of touched on that and want to make it a uh, special night for them. Are you grateful for a chance to get well Wellington? Home is always going to be home. Um, every opportunity we get to put on a black jersey, we're grateful for. But to be able to do it at home in front of your friends and family um, and the fans that I played for um, for my whole career is um, pretty special. Got some special uh, players going on the field, probably in New Zealand for the last time. Any messages for them or any thoughts around that? <laughs> oh, I was stoked I got to see them both. It's real, like they, they are just great gentlemen, um, huge servants to, to, the, to the jersey, have done great things on the field, but uh, legends off it as well. So they've done a great service, you know, and to the All Blacks and yeah, they'll enjoy this last uh, taste of it at home. Been talking much about Sam Keane in the last couple of days. Not directly to him, but yeah. we've been referencing him in mm. the odd team huddle just to stoke a bit of the fire with our emotion and channeling it the right way. And it's a special night for him, so yeah, hopefully we can um, yeah, do it justice in his career. How much effort do you know goes into trying to get to the 100, 100 mark? Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, it's a, it's a mark of consistency uh, at the highest level and particularly within New Zealand, there's so much talent that comes through every year that's um, chasing you and trying to knock you off. So uh, to do it in that seven jersey for a long, long period of time, uh, as the game of rugby has changed, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mark of his yeah, incredible work. So um, like I said, it's going to be a big night for Sam. Welcome to one of the great rivalries in world rugby as the All Blacks and Wallabies clash for the second time this season.
sit at half time. Um, it's a little bit high both sides of the ball in terms of our, our collision, so uh, we just get under them with a shoulder and with our ball carry, we start winning those metres, so there's a clear focus and just a bit of position, just respecting the ball a little bit more. Got a little bit of position now and we we'll put some pressure on them, so that's all we're going to do. Ball is there to Mighty Williams. Scores the try. DJ Pirinara, the last time in an All Black jersey on New Zealand soil. McKenzie frees it up for Clark. Caleb Clark scores. Two for Caleb Clark. And the All Blacks do score in the final quarter. The fans rise on their feet. He's given everything to the All Black jersey. And in Sam Kane's 100th test match, the All Blacks are victorious. <laughs> from the Wellington crew though. Oh, very massive turnout from the Wellington lads. And uh, the people, our fans, they really came out and supported the boys and got behind us. Especially for a special occasion for um, Sammy. 100 games, man, that's not easy. It's tough. He's great. He wants to be great. It's... And TJ as well. Oh, bro, he's done so much for the jersey. He's paving the way for the halfbacks, especially like Tiz and Cam. He's done a lot for the jersey and uh, so much respect and love for him. And... Pretty special moment to be able to play my last test in New Zealand. Even running back into the changing room before the game, my dad and I would do a salute to each other. And that's the last time I'll do that salute to him here. Um, and I could see him, bro, and he was like real emotional in that moment and made me emotional. So this is pretty cool, man. I'm happy with the result, um, but just really proud of being from one and two. Yeah, it's pretty cool that uh, and fitting that TJ and Sammy get the, the send off they deserve and uh, just cool that we can yeah, get, again get a win in the stadium too. It's something we spoke about all week. No curse? No curse. Doesn't exist. So I'd like you to come forward mate and receive your 100th test cap. Sammy Kane everyone. Oh, it's been a special week, tried to enjoy it as much as I can. Lots of little, like, lots of little things along the way which have made it cool, with some special words from some people that mean a lot. And uh, yeah, just really nice to be able to get the win, eh? That, that's what tops it off.